Hi folks, I'm Dr. Sadie Wasatsky with the Acme Lab at Temple University, and today I'm going to be showing you some basics about our site, datamonkey.org. Datamonkey.org hosts a variety of statistical methods and tools to help you analyze your genomic data. We mainly focus on detecting selection and recombination. If you know what tool you want to use, just click the Methods and Tools dropdown and select it from the list. If you're unsure but know what kind of evolutionary process you'd like to detect, you can click through these choices to find our recommendations. For example, if you want to detect selection across sites in an episodic fashion, we'd recommend using mean. Once you've selected a method, you'll be prompted to choose your alignment file, the type of genetic code it uses, and enter your email to be notified when the analysis is completed. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then hit Run Analysis. Once you hit Run Analysis, you'll be given a unique job URL that you can save. Here, we're just going to copy it. This URL will take you back to the progress page as the job is running and the summary page once it is finished. You can also click on the job queue here to see all of the jobs that are currently running on DataMonkey. If we scroll down, we can see that this meme job that was just submitted is currently queued, while there's another meme job here that is running. You may also want to look at use statistics for our site. The usage statistics are separated by method, and you can see the number of weekly completed jobs for each method here. You can also see the number of sites and sequences that comprise the data sets being submitted to each job. This might give you a good idea of the limits of certain methods as they are implemented on datamonkey.org. Additionally, we have this Help tab. At the top, there's a link to our GitHub issue page where you can submit any issues or ask any questions that you can't find the answer to on the Help page. The Help page itself contains information on common issues such as data input file errors and suggestions on how to fix them. It also includes a link to a tutorial about how to read the JSON results files generated by DataMonkey, as well as lists our genetic codes that we use and the type of data formats we allow as well as just some general advice about statistical analyses. If you're interested in our work on COVID-19, we also have a link to that dashboard available as well. This dashboard is updated daily with new sequences. And here, using the URL we copied earlier, we can navigate back to the meme analysis that we started in the beginning of the video to see the results. For any data monkey analysis, you can click this export button where you can download the original file you ran the analysis on, the log, you can save the JSON, or you can view it in the browser. You can review the results of your analysis in the browser here or using that JSON that you downloaded, you can go to vision.hifi.org and load it into the visualization there. Or you can use it to create your own visualizations. As always, if you run into any issues or have any questions, you can reach us at our GitHub or at our Twitter at hi-fi underscore software, both of which will be linked in the description below. I hope this helped. Thanks.